Hello everyone and welcome back to Efraín Rodríguez Jr. show. Today I have something for you that is an eye opener, especially here in Puerto Rico. We're going to start about what I have in the back, in my back. It's a picture of, you know, this uh, vaccines they're going to, you know, it's going to start, you know, giving up to the babies starting from six months i believe uh yeah from six months to four years of age also there's so many things that i'm gonna about to show you here that today we're gonna go long we're gonna go long it's friday i know it's kind of like you, you know this is my last day we're gonna be doing this news from monday through friday on weekends we just Play games on TikTok and sing on TikTok. And that's what I'm going to be doing on weekends. So <laughs> no news. So today is the last one. And please do not like this video until you watch the whole thing. It's more important. I'm not here for the likes. I'm here to inform you about this few things. So this news uh, was like seven hours ago. It's from the uh, WAPA.TV. Health says... It is really to vaccinate babies from six months against COVID. In Puerto Rico, 22,000 vaccines were assigned to several. Sorry. Okay. To serve the population from six months to four years of age. The Department of Health reported that it is preparing to vaccine minors from six months for four years against COVID-19 with Pfizer and Moderna vaccines. The inoculation proceeds should be next week once the specific recommendations are received from the Scientific Advisor of the Center of Disease Control and Prevention, CDC. The Federal Food and Drug Administration today authorized vaccination for that age group. This is context that agents she established a work plan that includes uh, training of more than 200 pediatric providers of COVID-19 vaccines in Puerto Rico. 22,000 vaccines were assigned to serve this population. This is in his words, uh, Carlos Mellado Lopez. Certainly, the announcement is encouraging encouraging and fulfills our missions of bringing health to our entire population and that the greatest number of people are vaccinated. It is a protection tool for our children between six months and four years of age at the time when there was been an increase in infections and a result of the virus. The results thanks to the vaccinations has been favorable. Managing to reduce serious cases, says the Secretary of Health, Carlos Mediado Lopez, who specified that over 106,000 children are eligible to receive the injection. Remember the last part. So now I'm going to show you from this is today, one day old, and this is a uh, senator. Ron Paul asking Dr. Fauci. This one, I don't have to translate. Enjoy this. Dr. Fauci, the government recommends uh, everybody take a booster over age five. Are you aware of any studies that show reduction in hospitalization or death for children who take a booster? Right now, there's not enough data that has been accumulated, Senator Paul, to indicate that that's the case. The, I believe that the recommendation that was made was based on the assumption that if you look at the morbidity and mortality of children within each of the age groups, you know, zero so, to five, five to 11. Right. So, so, there, let's, so there, there are no studies, and Americans should all know this, there are no studies on children showing a reduction in hospitalization or death with taking a booster. The only studies that were permitted the only studies that were presented were antibody studies. So they say, if we give you a booster, you make antibodies. Now, a lot of scientists would question whether or not that's proof of efficacy of a vaccine. If I give you 10 
or if I give a patient 10 mRNA vaccines and they make protein each time or they make antibody each time, is that proof that we should give 10 boosters, Dr. Fauci? Uh, no, that, I think that is somewhat of an absurd exaggeration. Senator well, that Paul. is the proof that you use. Your committees use that. That's the only proof you have to tell children to take a booster is that they make antibodies. So it's not right. an there absurdity. Are, You're already no. at like five boosters for people. You've had, you know, two or three boosters. It's like, where is the proof? Now, I think there is yeah. probably some indication for older folks that have some risk factors. For younger folks, there's not. But here's the other yeah. thing. There are some risk factors for, for the vaccine. So the risk of myocarditis with a second dose for adolescent boys, 12 to 24, is about 80 in a million. This is both from the CDC and from the Israeli study. It's also in the VAERS study, remarkably similar, for boys, much higher from boys than girls and much higher than the background. The background's about two per million. So there is risk and there are risks. And you're telling everybody in America just blindly go out there because we made antibodies. So it is not an absurd corollary to say if you have 10. In fact, you probably make antibodies if you get 100 boosters, all right? That's not science, that's conjecture, and we should not be making public policy on it. Alrighty, so what, the last part, the, this clip is about eight minutes long. Conjecture, it, it, we should not be making public policy on this. We got this from the newspaper. In, in reality, parents should be aware of these things because there's not so much data out there. You know, if you ask the parents who wants to do it and go for it and, you know, it's you want to feel more like in the safe side. But Dr. Fauci is being questioned by Ron Paul, a senator. And this is... um. If I'm not mistaken, this is uh, January 16, 2022. This is like, today is January 17. This is one day at all. This is not, I'm not bringing this from a year or two years ago. This is like recently. And I always, uh, you know, I know doctors and our secretary of health, they're busy because they want to keep the people, uh, you know, alive and they have so much work. But they need to be with the times also and what is going on in an actual time. He should have a person that it can be checking all these things for him. If he needs help, just get him a, get him a, a person that it can help him. From there, we're going to go to one. Uh, this one is a very po polemical. It's, it's coming down in the next couple of days, probably. Uh, Road versus way decision. And you know that all this was just uh, 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 man, I screwed this one up big time. A draft. Mog, my lord. <laughs> I feel like buy them for one second. My bad. Sorry about that one. Okay. Roe versus Wade falls. Some persecutors want at force anti abortion laws. Nashville, Tennessee, AP. As the U.S. Supreme Court appears uh, poised to strike down the constitutional right to abortion, progressive prosecutors, meaning Democrats, across the United States are declaring they will not enforce some of the most restrictive and punitive ab the abortion laws that party-led states Republican waived years to apply. Okay. This is going to be a back and forward, but it's going to go back to the states. And that's what the draft is saying. But listen how this uh, newspaper says here. And I love this part. That's why I took this paragraph out of the so many of them they have over there. And the newspaper, El Bocero, a spokesperson. Anti abortion law in the United States largely a boy as Placidity punishment pregnant women and instead tend to target doctors. Stop it right there because you're not punishing pregnant women when you do an abortion. You are really killing 
and that living thing and that's the one they are trying to save who could face losing their medical license of course you know if i go driving without my seatbelt and i get pulled over i'll get a ticket it's against the law to practice something that i should not be practicing like being without a seatbelt that's one thing and there's so many other things remember pina he has some weapons and he's facing jail because it was against the law the weapons that he has on him and you know boom he's in jail so doctors they are practicing in those places that are not supposed to be practicing this that will face jail time because it's against the law and that is particular place i don't know if i can make it a little more simpler than that so however some abortion restrictions who criminalize those who assist in abortions and others might require women's to have obtained the procedure to testify against those who assist them this is this is going into listen if it's if it's illegal believe me hey that weapon is not mine i don't know how it got there listen this is the law you got to respect the law simple as that i'm not gonna go more on that part because it's very simple very simple as that. So from there, we're going to go. Actually, for some reason, me and her, we're wearing the same, same colors. I feel good. I love ping pong. It's, it's one of the sports that I really did when I was in my younger years. I like to think that I still, you know, kick, kick ass sometimes. But, you know, not that good anymore. But actually... Oh, shoot. Oh, my friend. And see if he still got the table. And going. Anyhow. Adriana Diaz defeats the Japanese Asuka Sasao. And advances to the quarterfinals at the WTT container in Lima, Peru. The Puerto Rican table tennis player who won the first two matches and advanced to the round. Of the best of 16. That's good. You know, worldwide, best of 16. That is, that's a champion for me right there. While her sister, Melanie and Fabiola Diaz were eliminated. Maybe next time. The Puerto Rican table tennis player, Adriana, defeated the Japanese Asuka Sasao in five sets total. Friday, in her second match of the day at advanced to the quarterfinals at the WTT container in Lima. Great for her. Woo, you know, for all those news to this, this is like a breather. Sorry, but now I got to ruin this to you because the last one, sorry, you know, we're not wearing the same clothes. It's black, I'm blue. Vladimir Putin. This is from the newspaper First Hour in the island of Puerto Rico. Proclaims the end of the U.S. Let any polar world, he claimed, the right of countries to guarantee their particular interest. Moscow, Russia. President Vladimir Putin on Friday proclaimed the end of the U.S. let any polar world, despite attempts by the West, oppressor it by all means. The era has ended, despite all the attentions to maintain that preserved it by all means. Change the natural process of history, Putin says, during the International Economical Forum in Sap. There's Bogo, Russia. Putin accused the United States of believing itself to be God's <laughs> messengers after claiming victory in the Cold World after the fall of the Soviet Union in 1991. Claiming victory in the Cold War proclaimed itself God's envoy on Earth. 
the U.S. has no obligations, only interesting. And by the way, those interests are sacred. Sacred. He stress. Sacred. He warned that this recipe here do not work and accused the Western leaders of ignoring revolutionary and technology changes, which he considered irreversible. Plus, you know, let me add that he also is a nuclear power and they have so many nuclear weapons. United States, try to stay away from that war. It's not in the best interest. Because with our economy, the way it is going, do you guys know the Roblo just went up 25% and our dollar is going down? It, it, it's like, in reality, that's like a 16%, not but this, 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 just, they're saying that it's eight point something. I'm just saying, stay away from that guy. Anyhow, oh, that was not, that was not long. Man, in the English, I just saved so much time. I think I just been talking so much of the other thing in Spanish. Have a great weekend. I'll see you back on Monday. Thank you for supporting. Now you can like this video and share it with your friends and family from Monday through Friday. We're going to come in YouTube and do this every single week. And remember, click the bell because it's 1139 and I will send this in the next hour or so. I don't do no edit or nothing. Just send it over. And then to my friends and family, because I don't want to bother them, I'll send in the next day. So, thank you once again for being here with us. From Palma Sola, Villalba, Puerto Rico, Efraín Rodríguez Jr. in Efraín Rodríguez Jr. Show. God bless you. I'll see you on Monday. Thank you.